Welcome to our web extra here on SSPTV.com. Folks, the name of the book is Implosion at Los Alamos, How Crime, Corruption, and Cover-Ups Jeopardize America's Nuclear Weapons Secrets. My guest is Dr. Glenn Walp, the author of this book. Uh, Glenn, explain briefly what this book means to us. Uh, from my perspective, Sam, the essence is this, that recently President Obama, as he recently signed the International Nuclear uh, uh, Security uh, Treaty, if you will, with various countries around the world, when they were all done, uh, President Obama, along with uh, various other leaders and congressmen, both sides of the aisle, agree this, that the number one challenge facing the world today as it deals with nuclear weapons, we can think Iran, the number one challenge is keeping nuclear secrets and material out of the hands of the enemy, of which there are many facing the United States. We know that. The sad part is this, Sam, that one of the, the egregious violators of this, of giving ironclad security of nuclear material and secrets, is United States of America, and with specificity, I say the Los Alamos National Lab. And I base that up upon solid documented facts. Uh, for example, in 2002, the loss of uh, plutonium oxide, which is made to use dirty bombs, and they said, well, gee, we think we threw it in a drum, but we can't prove it. We have no idea what happened to that. Uh, two more uh, uh, thumb drives and hard drives, classified information, 2002. Uh, then we had uh, more disk loss, classified disk, in, in 2003. Uh, more zip disk loss in 2004. Then a young lady walks out of the lab with classified nuclear weapons research information in a backpack, 400 pages, plus multiple thumb drives. She confesses, if you will, before a judge, the reason I did it, you know, she wasn't in the spying, but she wanted to work on it at home. She knew there was such lax security at the lab, she says, alleges, that she took advantage of it. Then in 2009, a lab scientist, uh, he takes three lab computers home, and I'm not sure there was a violation or not, I'm not saying there is, but there, was, there were some, certain rules. Uh, his house is burglarized, the thieves steal his computers, he tells the lab, they do another audit, which they should have been doing all along, find out that 69 more computers are gone, 13 in 2008, 46 before that, and the National Nuclear Security Administration gave a warning to the lab in, in February of 2009, saying that they are so deficient as it deals with their, their ironclad security of this nuclear material, that it may diminish their chances of operating. Semantically, they're saying, we may have to shut you down. Special nuclear material is what you make nuclear weapons at. The problem, regrettably, it, it is consistent uh, throughout between uh, this, this decade. There is no one at the lab, Sam, no one at the lab, and I challenge any of them, I challenge them to stand up and say, we can prove through documented evidence, no secrets and no material has slipped out of this lab in the last decade. They can't do it. When the, when the losses occur, they make statements such as, well, most likely, probably, maybe, we think, and, and a famous one they use, well, that's old news, and to them, old news is not news, and they dance around it. Uh, I say to President Obama, I say to all congressmen, don't let this issue be another 9-11, because when 9-11 happened, everybody was screaming, well, who, you know, who should have known and who didn't tell? That book is a voice crying in the wilderness. I hope someone with power, someone conviction hears it and does something about it, but the only people that can do about it are people in downtown Washington, D.C. Folks, Glenn Walp, the author of Implosion at Los Alamos. You can get this book on the website, implosion at losalamos.com. This is a web extra on SSP TV. Thank you for joining us.